I've no doubt that viewers and the panel will remember these newspaper splashes. Drugs administered by the state that caused hideous birth defects. MPs caught claiming expenses to spend on anything from floating duck houses to bath plugs. Cheating Pakistani cricketers guilty of spot fixing in a test match in exchange for a bung. A tiny, and I mean absolutely minuscule, taste of some of the great stories brought to you by the British press. Truly the best on the planet. This week, the government stopped perilously short of imposing a law that would have forced newspapers to pay all the legal costs of anyone suing them, even if the paper won the case. That's the equivalent of being cleared of a crime, but still doing the time. But conferring official approval on Impress as a press regulator, a body with precious few members, smacks of state regulation of the press. Laws are already, and quite rightly, in place for matters such as libel. And the majority of sane publishers have signed up to the powerful, independent monitoring body, Ipso. We don't need Impress, backed by the wealthy former Formula One bigwig, Max Mosley. Is our press at times raucous and rowdy? Undeniably. Should it, however, be free of the state? Undoubtedly. So, Nick, you referenced the press being raucous and rowdy. Let me very briefly explain some of my personal experience of said tabloid press. Mm. I went on to a reality TV show ten years ago now, Time Flies. What happened to me off the back of that TV show? Oh, my God. To say it ruined my life is an exaggeration. Obviously, it didn't. I'm still here. But the pain and devastation and misery the tabloids caused to me and to my family was second to none. I had quite a colourful background. I was just a normal person. I went on what I thought was a business show. It was BBC Two. Wasn't looking to be a celebrity or famous. When I was on that show, I had reporters outside of my house every day, every night. I was followed by tabloid reporters in cars. It scared me. I used to ring whoever, like my mum or whoever, and say, look, I'm being followed by this car. This is the register thing. I got pregnant. Um, I was in a fairly new relationship and I was pregnant. It ended up being front page news of a tabloid newspaper. There it is. Um, before I even had made my own decisions about what the pregnancy meant to me and to my relationship, it was all over the press. I had um, an uncle, the tabloid papers found him, was offering 10, 20, 30 quid for stories. I had a um, front page story on the News of the World. The headline was My Killer Dad. They were offering my nana, <sighs> they were following my nana, offering my nana money. And the biggest point for me was to this day, to this day, I struggle with trust because I have no idea who was selling me out. Somebody in my inner circle of friends or family was selling me out. I can't find out who it is. I've tried. The newspapers were literally every day, every week, printing deeply personal stories of me, and it really upsets me. My, how I lost my virginity was a double-page spread Jesus. in a newspaper. Now, I don't know, I don't even find that, that interesting. Why I, is it even in a paper? And I'm not going to seek to defend the indefensible, because all of that is indefensible. But I would tell you now, none of that, very little of what you've just said, would be allowed to be run in the post-Leveson world, because it cannot be deemed to be in the public interest. Mm. Sadly, Michelle, does it interest the public yes it does mm. is it in the public interest that you lost no it's not so very few papers would run that we are in a different world mm. we have a much tougher regulator and by the way it's right that I, I, I it was appalling what you suffered absolutely appalling ipso is tough and I, and I i mean i've got to know you quite well through the months that we've been doing this and actually you and i often agree on many things i can't not putting the hideous that you've been through, you can't want the state involved in regulating the newspapers. No, so I want, re I want regulation they from somebody. Start. I don't care if it's a state or something. I don't want newspapers to find my 80-odd-year-old nana, as she was then, followed I around. And I don't want people sitting on my wall following me and stuff like that. It's horrible. And let me tell you, I had to dye my hair black so that I wasn't recognised. I never even really went out the house. I had to unconnect my doorbell. I had to close my blinds. On, and let me put this very good. One of the biggest names on television, one of his or her parents is suffering an extreme medical condition that every newspaper in the land knows about. I know about it. The papers will never, yeah. ever, and it will be page one, two, three, yeah. four, and five. I'm telling you, we, I, and it's terrible what you went through. We're in a different world. It would never happen. But you, but you say you're in a different world, um, which you are to an extent, but you, you've got a regulator uh, that still isn't independent. No. Because it, and... 
Whether you, what, what, you mean don't Ipso? Know, do you mean Ipso? Ipso yes. You, yeah. yes. What way not independent? Yeah. Well, it's still so set, it's set up. It's self-regulation. Self yeah, well, it's self not good enough. I mean, what, the trouble your argument most. about the state is that so. broadcasters in this country have always lived yeah. with yeah. Uh, Ofcom, uh, Ofcom, Ofcom yeah. or its or equivalent its before that, the radio authority, the television authority. It's always lived with that. Has it stopped them doing... Stories that are massively in the, in the, the public, public interest? interest? No. no. But what it has meant is they can't do some of the sordid things but would that, you that allow... a lot of popular mm. press used to do. Would you allow them? I mean, I'm not one of these people. I've had people standing out, reporters standing sure outside have. my door. They never found out I got another way out. They were... <laughs> <laughs> I have now, by the way. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> no, I moved. I moved. <laughs> no, but, but I've had them standing out saying, oh, have you got blood on your hands, Mr. Duncan? Now, I was uh, running a, a big television company. I was an adult. I can cope with that. If you're like she was, yeah. no, I know. Hang on, you I get savage. But, yeah. you, but you see, you can't, you can't escape from the fact that those things happened to many, and it many. That's my life. Really it's it's era. It was pre Leveson. Well, and I yeah, work for a tabloid yes. as well, Greg. And I sometimes said things, and my editor would say, "There's no way we're going to run no. that." They are, they are running then, scared then what is the of, of, of having a second Leveson inquiry, which is still up in the air. Well, what five million quid for what? Five million quid for what? So I know, banged nothing. up five million quid just to tell us that there are a few phones hacked yeah, yeah, on the tabloids. Yeah. Which, which there are laws in they place. They probably anyway. hacked your friend. Anyway, they could have been hacking your phone, Michelle, if you're wondering who leaked but, your stories. But the trouble is, all tab all they, journalists. They, they wasn't, by all, the way. All tabloids, old journalists who were disproportionately or have worked for the mm. tabloids, make this argument. They're all making. Actually, what, what have they got to be scared of having an independent radio? Yeah, editor? what have they what got, have they to, got be to be scared of? Because what you're not... saying is right. Because I'm not sure it is. It is right. And if because you look at what's Nick and I work with... for tabloids, we know what we're talking about. You cannot run these stories anymore. Well, if you look at Fatima, um, Fatima Manji, who I know very well, I think... With you what... explain who she is. Jim. Yeah, Channel 4 News presenter. Oh, right, okay. Of course, yep. your friend Calvin McKenzie yep. said... Who presented the news in a hijab. In a hijab, yeah. and yep. Calvin said that she shouldn't be reporting mm -hmm. uh, on the Nice attacks because she was... Uh, overtly Muslim, mm -hmm. and and for them to completely say that there was nothing wrong in his reporting, how is that He correct? was expressing an opinion. No, we're allowed this is what columnists do. No, but... No, I'm sorry, we are if, allowed I'm sorry. opinions. No, the, the problem here is if that decision had come from an in, totally independent regulator yeah. and said exactly Alan the same Moses thing. Is that would have been fine. Greg, so but Alan Moses is independent. Who, the press funder. So it's partly funded themselves. by the press, yes. so And they regulate it themselves. Here's the danger, here's the danger, of, no imp here's the danger enough, of Impress, right? which is funded by Max Mosey, J.K. Rowling and others. The danger with Impress was, now this was stopped, that unless you agreed to the system... Yeah, and that they was would, crazy. Yeah, they would, if you take a case and, and I actually win, mm -hmm. I still pay your costs. Yeah. Well, that is crazy. vexatious, yeah. uh, written crazy. all over it. Mm -hmm. And let's just look at who signed up to Impress, shall we? So far, they've got the New Internationalist, the Scottish website Ferret, and the Carefully Observer, right? But ferret. Ferret, ferret, well, ferret yes, well, absolutely. Well, the whole the, point the is Ipso the Ipso has got the Mirror, the Sun and Times, the they Telegraph. They're the... governing themselves. Of course they'd all sign up The one up thing you that. know about almost every area of self-regulation is that it doesn't work. It Whether does you look at the work. doctors, you look at anybody, it doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't look at the lawyers. And the problem is, you, you might have... The football? best, the, football? the best. No, football isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you might have a really good independent regulator, but yeah. because of the way it's set up, yeah. it doesn't have the credibility. But it's not the, fair. The, but what the is your fear of a totally independent regulator? What is your fear? It's not independent. Impress the, well, is not independent. The, the impress. Now, I'm not talking about impress. No, I'm talking about what, what is your fear? But to, what is yeah. your, only yeah. because of where they've got to. Yeah, but Greg, what is your fear of having, a, been... having a, an equivalent of Ofcom? Exactly. Um, I think um, the Ofcom uh, comparison is unfair because while Why? I... Because I think, Greg, and you've worked in newsrooms for telly and for uh, newspapers, I think you'd agree newspapers normally set the day's agenda, notwithstanding great work done by Panorama and other shows. By and large, it's the papers that break, the thalidomides, the Daily Telegraph with all the cheating MPs, all but the... they could by still and large, do that with an independent regulator. No, because... Well, they couldn't no, do, no, because they I don't spend is... their entire time... I don't think, that, really down I don't think that's necessarily true. I mean, we could sit down and compare which, which stories came from broadcasters and which I stories came from uh, newspapers. I you might win, Ninety percent come from originated by newspaper No, journalism. that's not true. That no, it is true. Of, of, no, but but Rachel, they, they could still do that with an independent yes, regulator. But the whole time in front they of Ofcom. They could still do that. No, they, they, they oh, wouldn't. Thank God. You, you see, you don't know, they don't spend your time in front of Ofcom. The number of times I ever spent in front of, a, in the years I was in television, spent in front of a regulator was virtually nil in terms of individual stories. But 
But it does mean there is somebody who has some credibility of the public mm. deciding upon whether or not yeah. you did it right properly. Exactly. And that's what this the newspapers is... need, because you're always going to be seen. Off, what do you track. want, Nick? What, what are you he saying? Wants what are you got saying the press freedom, is, Michelle? So are you saying that IPSO is no fit for state purpose and we don't need anything else? I think it's certainly worth giving it a try. Yes, I have mm. far more confidence in IPSO, which is ferociously independent, with a hugely yeah. respected judge as its chair, Sir but, Alan Moses. So let me just, a, but you can't want the state controlling no, the board that appoints the board. That's I, wrong. I don't fully understand. Okay. If you're telling me it's independent, but then it's partly funded by the people it's supposed to govern, help me understand how is that independent? In the it's same way, in, in the same way as the doctors, I, I will admit, and it's not perfect, the doctors have their own. Uh, tribunal body as well. I think it's at but least worth trying. I'm talking about trying. IPSO. Is it independent? You just told me it is, well, but then you're telling press me it's not. Well, it's the independent press standards of organisation, so yes. <laughs> is it yes. independent? Yes, it's independent. No. Oh, we want well, people I mean, who no, have nothing to do, do with, with the, the press. Who that's who we want. Oh, my God. There. You want people who don't know how the press works. <laughs> no, 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 but no, a lot of people retired these days, and many more than they used to be, because the press is in some financial difficulty. There are lots of people who could sit on there, but they can't be sitting on there the same time as their Hold on, hold on. Judges have been judge. solicitors, have been barristers, have been lawyers. Da, 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 da. Anyway, you, you don't go and get a milkman and make him a judge. Nick, sorry. He hasn't got the Latin. You've lost us on this one. Well, no. I I totally on this one. Yeah, but well, you two you are would. both the best. Yeah, you exactly. you no, don't we matter. need a free press. We need to support it, not fine it. Here, here. We need to also regulate it. That's what we need to yes. do.